Hello, boys and girls. This is book number two from theme number seven in Stepping Stones. Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. This title of this book is The Busy Body Book, A Kid's Guide to Fitness. Busy body book. Hmm, karate. Soccer. The Busy Body Book, A Kid's Guide to Fitness by Lizzie Rockwell. Busy bodies bounce up and down. They stretch from side to side and run all around. They catch and throw, they push and pull. They pedal, they pedal, they roller skate too. When you get busy, what do you do? Your body is meant to be busy. It's meant to move fast, lift heavy things, walk or run for miles. Just look at it. You have hands for clapping, feet for stamping, legs for leaping, and arms for swinging. You can jump, sprint, twist, and twirl. You can do all this because your body is built to move. Underneath your skin is a strong, hard skeleton made of bones. Bones keep your body standing tall. Joints connect bones so you can bend. Here's a picture of the skeleton. The skeleton, you are made up of 206 bones. The skull protects your brain. Teeth are the only part of the skeleton that you can see. The spine is made up of many small bones connected by joints so your back can bend and twist. Here's your spine. Hinge joint. The ball and socket joint. Your shoulder lets your arms move in a circle. I'm so sorry. Uh, the ball and socket joint in your shoulder lets your arm move in a circle. Rib, per, ribs protect your heart and lungs. Ball and socket joint. The thigh bone is the largest bone in your body. Another hinge joint in your knee can bend back and forth. Half of the bones in your body are in your feet and hands. Wow. Turn the page. Muscles. Muscles are attached to bones by tendons. Muscles let you move and lift and stretch. When you use your muscles again and again, they don't get worn out. Instead, they get stronger. The muscles. Tendons attach muscle to bone. You have more than 20 tendons in each wrist. Facial muscles let you smile, blink, chew, and talk. Ligaments. Triceps. Triceps help you push, open a door. Biceps help you lift heavy things. Gluteus maximus is the muscle on your bottom. Back and stomach muscles let you stand up straight. Quadriceps lift your leg and bend your knee when you walk. The Achilles tendon attaches your calf muscle to your heel bone. Ligaments wrap around muscles and tendons to hold them in place. You have more than 300, uh, pardon me, you have more than 630 muscles. Inside your skull sits your incredible brain. Your brain controls every move you make and thinks your thoughts. It gets information about the world from your five senses. Then it tells your muscles what to do and how to move. Messages travel back and forth at lightning speed along wire-thin fibers called nerves. The brain and nerves. 
Your brain is made up of the cerebrum and the cerebellum and the brain stem. The cerebrum is the largest part of your brain. It controls most of your thoughts and movements. The cerebellum controls balance and coordination. The brain stem controls your heartbeat and breathing. The spinal cord is protected inside your spine. It connects all other nerves to the brain. Nerves send millions of messages to your brain every minute. Here are your five senses. Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Your body is an amazing living machine, and it only needs a few things to make go, like air to breathe, food to eat, and water to drink. These things come into your body through your mouth or nose, but, when, but then where do they go and what do they do? When you breathe, your lungs collect oxygen from the air. Your muscles need oxygen so they can move. Your brain needs oxygen so it can think. When you breathe in, you get fresh air. When you breathe out, you get rid of stale air. The lungs. Air enters your lungs through your mouth and nostrils. You inhale and it enters. The esophagus leads food to your stomach. The epiglottis closes when you swallow so food doesn't get into your lungs. The windpipe leads air from your mouth to your lungs and out again. Here are your lungs. You have a tongue here. When you exhale, it comes out of your mouth. Bronchi, bronchi, or bronchi, branch off from the windpipe. The diaphragm is a sheet of muscle that flattens and closes the lungs as you breathe in and out. The heart moves oxygen from your lungs to the other parts of your body. Your heart pumps blood through long, thin tubes called vessels. The blood picks up oxygen in the lungs and carries it to your muscles and to your brain. When your body gets busy, it uses more oxygen. Your heart beats faster and your lungs breathe deeper. The heart and blood vessels. Blood vessels carry blood to different, in two different directions, away from, away from, and back to the heart and lungs. The heart is the strongest muscle in your body. It beats more than 10,000 times a day. Vessels in the, lung, in the lungs pick up oxygen that has been inhaled and dropped and drop off waste to be exhaled. Arteries, the red veins, carry oxygen rich blood from the lungs out to the body. Veins are blue and carry poor blood back to the lungs to be refreshed. Wastes, waste from the blood is, care, is exhaled by the lungs. Capillaries, any tiny blood vessels that allow blood to reach every part of your body. Okay, there are many types of food. Some are bone building, energy foods, muscle building foods. As blood travels through the body, it also picks up food and water from the intestines. Then it delivers them where they are needed. Food gives your body energy. Your muscles use energy to move. Your heart uses energy to pump and your brain uses energy to think. Food also supplies materials that build bone and muscle. 
the stomach and intestines. Here's your mouth. The mouth grinds food and mixes it with saliva. The esophagus pushes food down to your stomach. Stomach churns food and mixes it with acid. Food becomes a thick liquid. The small intestines absorb the tiny food particles through its spongy lining. Food enters the bloodstream. Large intestine absorbs water and leads unused food parts out of your body when you use the bathroom. All living things need water to survive. There is water in your muscles and around your brain. It is the main ingredient in your saliva, sweat, urine, and blood. Because your blood is mostly water, it can easily flow in and out of your heart and through your vessels. The path it travels is called the bloodstream. When your body works hard, it gets hot and sweaty. Sweat is water that seeps through your skin to cool you off. The busier a body is, the more water it needs. A busy body works hard. After a while, it needs to rest. Rest lets your body heal and grow and get ready for another day. A body that gets busy each day stays strong, healthy, and happy. There are a lot of ways to be a busy body. Which is your favorite? The end.